What's up, Leo? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blunt, cigarettes, drink fruit, water. Hell, I don't give a fuck just to you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. Because you don't have to booze and you're doing for that. It truly means the world to me. Thank you so much. All right, my lovely Leos. We're back with another reading on who's secretly hating on you. Who's secretly seeing you juju. Who's secretly sending you the evil eye. So before we get started, let's get general a couple of general messages from spirit. All right, we have November, so um, maybe someone's name is uh, November. Uh, maybe someone's birthday is in November. Um, but yeah, November will be some, um, maybe something will be happening in November, but November will be significant to you guys, all right? All right, Ed. All right, we got a special date. The special date is possibly will be in November, all right? Yes. And we got race against time. So maybe you feel like something, uh, you running out of time against something. Maybe you running out of time. I feel, you feel like you don't have enough time. You feel like you're racing against time. Okay. Maybe it has something to do with what's going on in November on this special date. Okay. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys, some of you guys are trying to do something and you, and you feel like you're racing against time. And maybe you feel like you're having to do it. In November on your special date, okay. But let's see who's um, let's see who's hating on you. Sending you evil eye. Let's see who's hating on you. Who's hating on you? Who's hating on you? Some of you is somebody that work at a store. you as a Sagittarius you have a platonic relationship with yeah, this person is toxic spirit We got love vibes. So somebody who is secretly hating on you be sending you love vibes and shit. Like everything is all cool. You may not even know this motherfucker. You got this motherfucker in your face and you don't even know that they secretly hating on you because they're good at, you know, giving off love vibes, giving off positive vibes and shit. Like everything is everything is copacetic. Everything is gravy between you guys when really it ain't. All right, we got silence, sir. So maybe it's somebody that's trying to silence you. Okay. Always when you talking and shit, they always trying to speak over you to, uh, you know, so your, your ass can be quiet. So they, you know, they trying to silence you because you the shit and they always trying to over talk you because they ain't, they ain't about nothing. So they always be trying to make you be quiet. Always trying to silence you and shit by butting in. We got separated for some of you. The person that's secretly hating on you is somebody that you separated from. Okay. You no longer want to deal with because... They weren't cool, okay? You weren't feeling the love vibes from this motherfucker, okay? If anything, you was feeling, you know what I'm saying, hating ass vibes. So you had to separate from this motherfucker. Or you got admiration for some of you. It's a motherfucker that's sending you love vibes. Since I'm admiring you and shit. Telling you you cool. Liking on all your shit. Liking on all your posts. Just doing too motherfucking much. The person that's secretly hating on you is somebody that, um... Ask for that. They 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 seriously do need help. Yeah, they should. They yeah, they need a psychiatrist. Okay, motherfuckers. Uh, is a uh, three fries short of a fucking happy meal. But this probably this person probably came to you one needing some type of help and shit.
For some of you, it's a classmate, you know, somebody that you thought that was cool, that had cool-ass love vibes, but you realize this motherfucker need help, and you had to separate yourself from uh, from them. You know what I'm saying? Because every time you had, you trying to talk in class, them motherfuckers are always trying to butt in. Because you always had the answers, and they didn't. So they always try to make you look bad. Because they wasn't about shit. All right, we got mistake. Yeah, you had to separate your per separate yourself from this person because you felt like you made a mistake because you realized this person needed some serious help. All right, they would pretend to give off love vibes when they was getting off, really giving off hating vibes. Okay, so you had to kill that shit. Yeah, for some of you, it's, a, it's somebody that you have a soul tie with. Somebody you could have been married to in a long term community relationship or a long term relationship friendship. Okay, but you have a soul tie with this person. All right, we got interference from lovers. So if someone is secretly hating on you, it's interference from lovers. All right, other lovers and shit that you felt that you made a mistake with that need some goddamn help that you thought had cool love vibes, but they don't. Okay. Hi. All right, Some of you, it's a new friend, somebody you met, somebody you've been hanging out with, you thought that was cool, okay, because they had some cool-ass love, you thought they had cool-ass love vibes, they came off really cool and shit, all right, but then you realize that this motherfucker needed help, all right, this new person in your life, you needed help, you made a, a serious mistake, all right, you realize they was not the ones you needed to be around, and you needed to separate yourself from that motherfucker quick, okay, they was not the motherfuckers you needed to associate yourself with. For some of you, it's been, it will be somebody that you meet in the future. Yeah, but this person kept giving you bad vibes, okay? Like I said, they were, they came off like they had love vibes. Everything was cool and gravy in the beginning, but then you started to see that this motherfucker was just all bad. All bad, all right? And it was time to go, all right? It was time to dead this shit. It was time to dead this goddamn connection. It was too much going on. All right, let's get you some messages. My, in my deck I personally made for this, for these cards. Let's see what spirit like to add to your reading. We got people hate you because they ain't you. Now go continue to be great with your awesome self. Yeah, motherfuckers hating on you because you great and shit. And they asses is petty. You you giving off the motherfucking low vibe, love vibes and real genuine love vibes. And you uh, and they uh hating on you because their vibes is really bad vibes. But yeah, keep being your awesome self. Haters hate because you you congratulate and they don't like that. But who fucking cares? Yeah, because you. Hater, they hate on you because you're a congratulator. You can congr you congratulate people instead of hating on them. Why they hating on them, motherfuckers? They don't like that shit. You can't trust nobody these days, not even some friends, because some friends really be foes. So, yeah, you really thought that this uh, new friend was a cool person, but they, in the end, they came out to be a foe that needed a uh, mental motherfucker. This, this new person, you found out that this new person needed help that you were dealing with, and it was time to go. All right? You guys are elevating. And going places they can't go and they can't stand that. Yeah, so you elevate and moving up to higher places. And this motherf these motherfuckers don't like that shit because they petty and low vibrational. The more you love, the more the more love you show, the more love you give and show to others, the more demons hate. So the more you keep shining and the more you keep giving love and shit, the demons going to be hating on you. Okay, that's a fact. That's what anybody. All right, you got to make sure you check the roots of a person because you... Because you never know. All right, yeah, you got to check the roots of a motherfucker, not the outside layer. You got to get in deep. You got to get in deep on knowing a motherfucker because you, you just don't know. Let's see why they hate. Let's pull a card and see why they hate from the shadow deck. Or why they do the things they do. Why they be hating. And I'll get you an advice card. Leave it here, spirit. But why do they hate? Yeah, why do they hate? I'll get the one 
it turned over. I'll take that one. All right, we got victim mentality. The universe wants best for you, not the worst. Change your perspective for this person. Hey, do they uh, be secretly hating and shit because they have a victim mentality, okay? They be playing the victim and shit because they got bad vibes. They on low vibrational. All right, let me get you an advice card. Nah, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. Yeah, it'll never work with a motherfucker with a victim mentality. We got self-care isn't selfish. If you are really going to take care of yourself today, what would you do? Uh, would you? What would you do? So, why aren't you doing that? No healthy person wants you to sacrifice yourself for them. Really, anyone who wants that from you is a selfish jerk. Don't assume that people in your life are selfish. Don't assume that the people in your life are selfish jerks who can't handle you doing, doing what you, doing what you need to do for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right, me love. So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.